Thing. Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, the tension has been ratcheted up close to the top of the scale. North Korean missile tests and displays of military might have been met by US warnings that its patience is at an end and that it's ready to deal with the threat from Pyongyang. President Trump's boast of sending an armada has so far turned out to be empty rhetoric. But US military exercises began in the region this week. Our Asia correspondent Jonathan Miller reports from South Korea. Hun San's U.S. airbase on the coast of the Yellow Sea, American top guns today launched Exercise Max Thunder with their South Korean wingmen. Eighty fighter pilots will spend the next two weeks turning and burning in combat maneuvers against a simulated non-specific enemy pariah. But everybody knows who that is. Few things spark North Korea's ire as much as this. These joint US-South Korean exercises fuel Pyongyang's paranoia that it's going to be attacked. In fact, they see it as rehearsal for invasion. For North Korea, they justify the headlong rush to put a nuclear warhead on a long-range rocket. NKTV has shown Kim Jong-un at a musical extravaganza in which a video depicts mocked-up nuclear strikes on the United States. Experts used to mock Pyongyang's ludicrous ambition. Now they're really worried. Last year, Kim's rogue state detonated two atomic bombs, test-fired 25 ballistic missiles, and defied six UN Security Council resolutions. The last nuclear detonation had the destructive power of the bomb the U.S. dropped on Nagasaki. In a bid to stop another, Donald Trump boasted he dispatched a carrier strike group led by USS Carl Vinson, accompanied by a nuclear-armed submarine towards the Korean Peninsula. This has now turned out to be fake news. Trump's armada is still thousands of miles away and as recently as Sunday was heading in the opposite direction towards Australia. In South Korea, they branded this Trump's lie, outraged that US deterrence amounted to a bluff. With weasel words, the Americans have sought to play down the confusion. All set? Okay. So uh, we're doing exactly what we said we were going to do. She will be on her way and I'll determine uh, when she gets there and where she actually operates. With tensions high, we spied North Korean soldiers taking photos on the far side of the line which slices the peninsula in two. In Panmunjom, where the armistice was signed, North and South face off as they have for 64 years. It's not exactly what you'd call an oasis of peace, this place bristles with latent aggression. On this side, 28,500 US troops support the South Korean armed forces. Over there, one million North Korean troops, backed by 20,000 artillery pieces, jet fighters, tanks, choppers and nukes. South Korean soldiers wear dark glasses to prevent eye contact with soldiers from the north. Busloads of South Korean children come to stare into the Forbidden Zone, the land that time forgot, where lurks a hideous but exotic beast called Kim Jong-un. Even five-year-olds here know that haircut. What performs better, a, a, a North Korean MiG or an F-16? Uh, I would like to thank the F-16. In a dogfight? Uh, yes, sir. The US Navy hasn't made it to Korea yet. And right now, it seems that everyone, from these top guns to the Mavericks Kim and Trump, are flying by the seats of their pants. 